Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV Online. Episode 31 of Beetlejuice Dealjuice Volume 3 Stormblood Edition. Let's jump right in. Here we are. What are we up to? I can't remember. And it was only five minutes ago. What's wrong with me? Okay, everything looks to be going fine. Oh yes, I'm meant to be going all the way over here to the Violet Tides. To the Palace of the Lost Souls. Sounds spooky. Could have been could have been a good place to go last night, uh Halloween night. Except the game was in maintenance all damn night. When I wanted to use my spooky Halloween robe that I bought for like six bucks. I'll just show it off real quick because it's... Yeah, see it's got like little bats and shit and I was going to put on my cool sunglasses. Pumpkins and... Yep. Anyway. All right. Now we just travel down this way. At least I can mount up immediately. Pretty fast on the mount too. Turquoise French. Ch 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 Oh man, wait a damn second. Northwest? Let's go up there and get that aetherite current. Ether current. Now, I can mount up underwater, but I can't mount up on the surface of the water. That is a little sus, Square Enix. What are you trying to do? Now, I'm afraid that this entire island... Okay. I think this entire place... Surrounded by mountains I cannot surpass from this area, unless I want to go swimming for a long, long time. New location discovered. Yep, there's an absolutely no way. Get up there. I go all the way around, though. Okay, looks like it's looking like there's no way to get over there. But luckily, we're right near where we need to be for the Shisui of the Violet Tides. I'm hoping is a dungeon. I don't know if you give a crap, but there might be some action going on. Better me just walk 
floating around in the ocean, farting around, talking to turtle people and Look at this place. All the way at the bottom of the ocean. Oh yes, I forgot I am an idiot. I can use my mount. Ooh. What an idiot. Hermione Granger said it best. Jisui of the Violent Tides. Violet Tides. Not Violent Tides. Yes. It is a dungeon. It is a monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. Let's go back to uh, Ulda for the fuck of it. I'm gonna try queuing and see what the wait time is on our queue for right now. Six minutes. And okay, we're not going to do it right this second. Nestled in the sands of the turquoise trench. A thousand thousand fathoms below the surface of the ruby sea is Sui of the Violet Tide. A resplendent palace erected by Rin. Refugees who fled underwater to escape the constant wars that rage upon the land. Its unique beauty is dying unparalleled. The light, however, quickly fades from its once peaceful halls. A sinister race from the void pour forth, seizing the souls of all its occupants, including that of the Ruby Princess. Now, none but the Warrior of Light can save the Shisui of the Violet Tides from the darkness threatened to engulf it all. Whoa. That is an overload. Well, you know what I should do? Hang on a damn second. Wondrous Tales? Time expired. Okay, well, what do I want to do here? Yeah, go to the market board. I got my retainers. You got any big plans for tonight, or what's... You don't mind me asking, just trying to make small talk, I guess. Or a staff. Resign that.
Silver ingots. Shit, doggy. All right, well, if you decide to stream, I'll probably stop by. Yeah, when do you get to do sound alerts? I think it'd be cool if I had like a little guy that popped out and said like, a man, a man, or I don't know. I, I mean, I mess around with that shit just like you're saying. I mess around with that shit for hours. And then I feel like I didn't get anything done. Okay, 24k, 29k, or 35k. Yeah, I figured. Okay. Rich for my blood on that one. Mana silver needle. Whoa, wait, you rich for my blood. Carney Yarrick. Topped with a single slice of tomato. This baked stuffed eggplant is positively bursting with humps of meat and rich spices. Sounds tasty. hear that I've really not even messed with the options I have now too much not like, I have no idea what kind of state my channel looks like or whatever you call your home page probably looks pretty sloppy
Elder Nutmeg Seeds. Yeah, I don't think many people are visiting it right now anyway. Which is okay. Yeah, do that. Like every three or four months, I'll mess around with the layout on my YouTube page. Like put the newer series that I'm doing up at the top of the page and kind of get rid of ones that I've kind of fizzled out on or finished. Other than that, I don't do too much messing with that. Just be like me, steal from the internet. Not. Fair enough. Okay, well, well, I've got an enlistment paper to look at, right? Mm. I'm thinking that's a big no, but we'll see. Okay, I think what we must do now is the dungeon. Maybe the main event of this current episode we're recording. Chisui of the Violet Tides. Five minutes to save the world. All right.
Maybe it's a little bit like how a gamer doesn't want somebody else playing their game for them. Well, it's not really like that, but maybe it's kind of, I don't know, I'm trying, I guess that's a stretch. In my mind, they're a little silly. Like, I have put friggin' Balky Bardokumus' face on, on a title card I made for Pokemon a few weeks ago. Then I put Urkel up, and then what else did I put? I put, like, a Sandworm from Beetlejuice on there. Instead of my little lines that I play draws, song titles and that. I don't know, I like coming up with... That's, like, the most creative thing I probably do, other than... Composing the pictures, which I normally put a bit more effort into than what you saw earlier. But, uh, there's all kinds of options. I'll show you real quick, I guess. Like, camera facing, lighting, framing, all kinds of stuff. But I find I spend a little too much time making them. Like, half hour goes by and I'm just... God, the title card is going to be up for like 7 seconds. Nobody's going to see it or pay attention to it. But I have fun making them. And I think one day I'm going to make a... Uh, like a... Reel of all the different title screens I've made. In order, I guess. I've been doing this since my last character... There were six volumes of that, and I'm on volume three of this. Each volume was at least like 25 to 50 videos. I don't know if anybody would watch it but me, but I have some good memories, I think. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't be too bad. Idleshire, yes. I must go there quickly. It's a new Wondrous Tales book. What is this guy sitting on? A big old Elpis flower. Wow, that's incredible. Elpis. Where the hell am I?
Don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish this, but hopefully. Now well, let's go hunting some uh, elite marks, I suppose. Southern Thanalan it is. Let's go to Little Alamigo. I'm excited. I'm almost done with that Pokemon Let's Play. Nuzlocke, Winderlock, whatever. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing after that. Oh yeah, I do. There's a new, brand new Pokemon game coming out that I'm going to be playing. But, uh, so yeah, that is not, I'm not getting away from Pokemon ever. I thought you had a switch. Long maybe, maybe in the past you did you had one. I'm glad I'm not drinking anymore because I probably would have sold the damn thing by now. For damn rum money. I don't know, I thought, like, in the past, maybe the far past, I thought you invited me over to play Switch, and I was like, mur, 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 I don't do things outside my house. Oh, okay. That's nice. Pass it on, pass it on. I actually, did I have another one? Or I was just borrowing, oh, I was borrowing Juice for a long time. That's why I played Breath of the Wild. But then the new Pokemon game was coming out, so I had to have one. And I haven't gotten rid of it since. Although I did sell the, uh, I, I have sold several pairs of uh, Joy-Cons in the past. When I needed quick money fast. Well, I ended up being not even being able to play the Switch for periods of time. Chia. Since you're marked to the south. Okay, I think I still got time. Damn it, now I'm not going to be able to get this mount of this damn haunt. just want to find it, damn it. No, I'm not going to be in it. I'm not going to make it. He's not going to make it. I guess it's time to start thinking about Christmas movies. 
maybe at least that's what I do I watch uh, 12 dates of Christmas on repeat movie with Zach Morris and uh, oh, what the hell's her name Amy smart or she, it's kind of like Groundhog's Day but she has to keep going on a date with this guy but she really wants to get back with her old boyfriend and uh, comedy ensues as she tries to sabotage the date with the new guy who obviously she should be with. Um, and then she like goes around the town and meets with people, sees their troubles, and eventually has to help them all, solve them. I'm sure you care about that. I think it's on Disney Plus. If <laughs> if, you, if it sounded any, at all good, I put it on the background. I like go through phases where I put on the same exact movie over and over again in the background. It's not like I'm actually uh, watching it. But it's just like a comfort thing. I don't know. I think a lot of people do that. Mm. Yeah, I have a couple DVDs I held on to, like Garfield Christmas, Claymation Christmas, It's a Wonderful Life. And then I've downloaded a bunch of, like, um, Rankin Bass, all them... I've downloaded on my other computer or my other my crappy laptop. Man, we're taking this guy down. Yeah, I, I, uh, I admire that, and I'm jealous.
Ch-ch-ch-chia. Yeah. That's why I pretty much watch things I've already seen. Because that way I can watch, I can mess with my phone and not feel like I'm missing anything. Yeah. I hear that. Although I hear this, uh, this new Andor is pretty good. It's like, it's like Star Wars for adults, whereas pretty much all Star Wars up until this point has been made for children. Quote unquote. I might give that a shot. I've kind of like really passed on all the Marvel shit that's coming out. I'll eventually watch it maybe. Yeah, Mando's good, definitely. I'm not going to argue about that. I think it was about Book of Boba Fett when I stopped watching everything. I think the last Marvel show I watched was Loki. Yeah, I guess. That whole business with him as... Oh, jeez, this is moving. I don't even know if I'm doing this fight right, but hopefully I am. We did it! I'm really excited for the X-Men cartoon to come back in like a year. That's probably the thing I'm looking forward to most and the thing I'll most likely actually give the time to watch. I mean, those X-Men were like my X-Men. 
I mean, when I think of X Men, I think of those guys. It's a wonderful restaurant. That's another thing. I have four episodes of Arrested Development I never finished. I just stopped watching it one day and never finished watching the show. All right, here we go. It's going to be the princess. I know it. He's going to fight us herself. It's Kira and I. It's kind of cool, like I used to look up, if I wasn't familiar with a dungeon, I would look up the boss mechanics and everything. On YouTube, before I went to the, initiated the battle. But now I'm kind of having fun figuring it all out on my own. Kind of doing it the way it's meant to be done. And, and the community in FF14 is so good that even if you screw up or whatever, nobody's going to give you a hard time. Mine did these limit break, but I didn't pull it off.
Man, look at that guy. He's, dead. He's got like a flame portal coming out of his back. It's current eye, I knew it. He said she was lying about something and she was gonna tell us what the lie was after we finished the dungeon. What was she lying about? What could it be? Gotcha. I'm kinda of off in my own little world anyway. The world of Aorta. What does that mean? What are channel points, I guess, is the question here. We'll finish up this quest here if we can. North, huh? going to be a shot caller or <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about man I'm sorry my own ignorance Understand now. All right. I thought you meant the bottles were going to be expensive. I'm like, no way, man. Those were like a dollar flat at the corner store. When I got real damn desperate for a drink, I'd scour the, the house for change and go buy a couple of them damn things. Little apple vodka and blah bitty boo Never did any good for me, but... Psyched myself into thinking of something, you know?
Well, if you get a lot of them. Yeah. Man. That'd be funny if I were like, yeah, give me channel points every time you want me to smoke a cig. And I can't smoke a cig if you don't give me points, and then nobody gives me points, and then I quit smoking and I become healthy. Seems legit. Yeah, there you go. That makes more sense. That quest was very easy. I think maybe I remember doing it in the past. On my other character. Oh, I only found the Yasukani no Magatama thing we need. Yay, we did it! Okay, I already got one of those. Let's go with the copper nickel bowl. Level 68? Oh man, I forgot I was going to get so close to leveling after doing that dungeon. This is awesome! What was I going to the Isle of Zeki for? I think just a hunt. We can do that later. Oh, I'm going the wrong way again. Going the wrong way.
Oh, it's another quest I have to go on. Hmm. We're going to decline that quest, I think. Punching, I'm on the way. For it. Yay, they're going to help us. I'm going to take a little quick screenshot here. Oh, there's a cave, a secret cave. That means a raid is coming up.
Okay, well... I'm thinking it's time to... Switch to a Dark Knight? Actually, hang on a second. I don't have any gear? Okay. What about as, as the Scholar? Yeah, Gyo... Go Gyo Association. I could have put this on earlier. Damn it, what was I about to do? Check my ether currents. They've got one of each left. Okay, and the Ruby Sea, I'll be able to fly around. Okay, I'm gonna end the episode here, and I think I'm gonna end the stream here too. Um, shit. Um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, I definitely am. Uh, thanks for watching. If you end up streaming later, I'll try and stop by. Thanks for chatting, it's been great. And, uh, bye!